Once upon a time, in a southern state of India called Kerala, they ruled a well-respected and wise king named Mahabali. During King Mahabali's rule, his subjects were very happy indeed, as there was no crime or injustice throughout the land. This great Asura king's only failing was his ego. The devas from the heavens above observed this perfect earthly kingdom, its people and their king. They were worried that Mahapali was becoming more powerful than them. So the devas went to the god Vishnu the preserver for help. Oh Vishnu, Mahapali grows mightier day by day. What if he tries to challenge our supremacy? Please help us curb his power. Vishnu took the form of a dwarf, Vamana, and came down to earth to approach the king. The king in his pride offered Vamana a boon. Welcome, O holy man. Ask of me anything you please. Nothing is impossible for me. Nothing is beyond bounds. Vamana therefore requested of Mahabali. Only give me as much land as can be covered by my three steps. The king cheerfully proceeded to grant him his wish. The dwarf, however, began to expand. With his first step, he covered the sky, even blotting out the stars. With his second step, he spanned the netherworld. Mahabali realized that Vamana's third step would destroy the earth. Humbled, he said, Guru, place your last step on my unworthy head. He had understood only too late that Vishnu himself had taken the form of the dwarf to make him acknowledge the folly of his pride. Vamana's last step pushed Mahabali right into the nether regions. The gods were appeased. But since Mahabali was so attached to his kingdom and its subject and was well loved by his people, he was allowed to return there once a year. The day King Mahabali returns from exile to visit his beloved people is celebrated as Onam in Kerala. Onam is thus celebrated by taking the resolution to lead a new life of truth, piety, love and humility.